Welcome back to the Tongue of the Trees. I'm Elizabeth Ashley, the Secret Healer. And today we're talking about, on this video, the emotional, the mental and spiritual aspects to do with what is juniper berry essential oil good for. So we talked earlier about how on our card it talks about purification. And uh, in my usual way, I am unprepared, but I think on this one we will look at the poem. Because I think it really, really helps us to anchor what we're trying to do. Very short anyway. So it says, I want to get rid of those painful feelings from the past. I know you think they've gone, hidden from your humdrum thoughts. But be truthful, eh? Did you deal with them? Well, I don't think so, no. Let's lift that rug. Let's see just how much you swept under there. Together, let's carve out a sacred space and then view these pains again. We'll open the door and let in June of her fresh air, breathe out, release them, feel the sensation of truly breathing free. So that's nice, isn't it? So that gives us a good understanding straight away that, <sighs> let it go, purification, detoxification. Now, at the bottom, of the tongue of the trees cards comes this little key and this tells you the um tcm that uh it's involved in the medical astrology the ayurvedic and also the um just the energetic so it says it's neutral to warm it strengthens the spleen and resolves dampness of the interior. So we understand the dampness. We've done that to death, really, haven't we, in the physical um, model. But if we think about water, it's ruled by the water and metal energies. We think about the water being tears. You know, the tears that we cry, the snot that comes out when we cry. Oh, then we're starting to feel a, a difference to it, don't we? But it's ruled by the Aries Libra axis. And that's not something that you see very often. It's a strange rulership. So if you think about Aries being the first sign of the zodiac, the baby, you know, the toddler, really. I want I want to do that. I'm going to put my hands in that. And, and it's just like there's no perception of what's going on around you at all, is that It's warrior nature, isn't it? I'm just going to go for it. You know, I'm not thinking about it at all. Now, if you think about, and also the spring, you know, new stuff, thinking about new stuff. But then if you think about Libra, if you think about the actual zodiac, you have this push me pull you of the opposite signs so what you tend to find is signs that are opposite each other in the zodiac are opposite in nature so aries is all me 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 what i want the drive my ambition my aggression all of that i'm allowed to say that because i'm aries rising yeah so that's what you see when you see me on the screen you see my aries nature you never see my cancerian nature it's all about me 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 <laughs> So we have that. Then we have the Libra nature, which is all about the other person. You know, what do you want? And let's think about this. Let's balance this up. Is it fair for them? Is it fair for me? You know, justice, thinking, always about it. So that's interesting, isn't it? Because that's, oh, that's quite a difficult dynamic, isn't it? To be able to marry those up. It's a bit like... Um, Uh, I can't really work it out. The, the, it's like, it's a bit like the um, archetype of Uranus. Uranus is about the individual and the collective. It's kind of similar. How they are the same, because obviously Libra also needs to think about himself as well as the other person. But it's difficult to marry up. 
So then when we start thinking about it from that point of view, we start to understand how the um, emotional aspects of the essential oil works. Now, what I will tell you is uh, think about it then from a person who is an empath, a highly sensitive person. I also is them because they absorb everybody else's stuff all of the time and if you know anybody who's an empath or you are an empath you will really recognize this thing of like oh it's almost piscean i don't know what's my ang i don't know what's my angst and what's everybody else's you know i've just taken it all on well then juniper comes really helpful because it's really useful for being able to cleanse the aura and go this is the boundary this is your fluid your emotions that's their emotions i'm flushing everything else that shouldn't be there out it also if we think about the um m m m ayurvedic perspective it reduces the sluggishness of kapha so kapha if you don't know is the dosha that is solid and water so when we mix those together if we mix soil and water what do we get we get mud don't we it's solid and it's gooey and it's uh, 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 uh. when kapha comes up in the body we see this sluggishness we see catar we see phlegm we see edema we see um, the lymphatic system not working properly we see sluggish thoughts oh so by reducing that we can see how the juniper is really having this energetic shift right through the body as it reduces the sluggishness of of kapha Oh, this all melts. That all melts. Oh, suddenly we're thinking clearer. We're moving faster. We've got more energy. You know, Scaffa is like, oh, it is a lot. When you somebody, I'm, I'm married to a man who is just about the most Kaffa ideal that you could ever have. It's strange because most people will be a mixture of three different doshas but both i'm very 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 pitta he's very 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 kapha it's unusual to see it and to see two people together is odd but so it sounds like he would be sitting in his chair all the time and actually if he does that then he becomes ill but the thing with the kapha person is they are stamina plod 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 they have unbelievable stamina so by reducing this, uh, the um, the the kapha, what we will also see is we will see a breakdown in that structure. So they won't be working as long and hard, but then they won't be plodding as much because you have that pitta and vata of like faster thought and more sparkle and a bit more dynamism in everything that they're doing, which I have to say, an employer probably wouldn't thank you for because there can be no better employee than somebody who is a kaffer because they might just, you know, they're very dependable. They don't rush at anything. They don't try and get done too quickly, but they get everything done fast because they're just done. They're like a metronome. Never stop. Never stop. Always the same. Always the same. Always the same. Always the same. That's very, very kaffer. So we have this whoosh, suddenly it's like a tidal wave through them if you give them juniper. And you'll see that they're, um, when they work so hard, of course, they hold all of this tension in their body. You look at their shoulders, enormous shoulders, great big muscular creatures because they're so powerful. You know, they're, uh, 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 you know, they can go on forever. So you see it in their bodies. And you look at their features and again, my husband's a perfect example of it. Really beautiful, great, big, clear eyes, pools of water. His are, they're almost the colour of this top and then big, luscious lips. Their features are all really big. You know, everything about a kapha is big. So they have this tendency towards sluggishness in their system. What do we expect to see? Diabetes, always. You know, that's going to be the first because their digestion is slow. They have worked too hard. You know, that it's very much a diabetic um, disposition. 
but you will see cellulite you will see um edema you will see just um muscle muscle aches and pains joints aches and pains the uric acid stays very strange very strange how you watch it but ayurveda is a tremendously good way of looking at um, what happens in a person so what we see then is it also helps with this lovely ca the kapha disposition because while it reduces kapha it also mm, so this sounds contra uh, uh, whatever contradictory <laughs> so think of yin and yang right and you know how you see the black and the swirl so it looks like it's black and white but if you look at the black side there's a white dot and if you look at the white side, there's a black dot. Have a look at the symbol because the nature of, um, of medicine is clearly written in there that whilst it reduces the nature of kapha, it also holds the essence of kapha. So what that means is we have this, it reduces this failure to finish that some people have, especially somebody who's vata, you know, they almost don't think, if somebody's very, very vital, they almost don't finish their thought, you know, they're on to the next thought, they're on to the next thing. A pitta person is so driven, they're like, I can't bother with that, don't dot the I's, don't cross the T's. Now, where my husband, no, it drives him absolutely mad. Why didn't you just come back and finish it? And I'm like, so I was doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> and he finds it very very difficult with people that he works with because they're like oh, i was doing something else and he's like yeah but you could have just gone back and put it away you could have done that you know but this so do because it reduces kapha it also holds the medicine of kapha so this failure to finish is reduced we get that duh, 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 energy coming through likewise we don't have apathy because Kaffir doesn't really care if they want to do it at all. They're just like, but that's what's got to be done. Turn on the machine, off it goes. You know, apathy, don't matter. I'll just do it, I'll do it. Likewise, they're not, co they're not bothered if they're confident or not. They're not. They just go, well, I've just got to be there, haven't I? Don't matter. It's not like the pitter who has to go, but they're watching me, you know? What do I look like? I've got to sparkle. And the, the, um, the vata is like i've got to be they're very athletic people aren't they vatas and they're a bit vapid you know they don't really they're floaty thoughts very quick it's here it's gone you know but likewise they're like i've got to go long faster you know faster stronger kaffa goes oh, excuse me tortoise tortoise i'm a tortoise sure the hair i don't care about that i'll get there i'll get there i'll get there when i get there so self-confidence isn't a problem to them. So again, this dot in the yin and yang says that brings that in beautiful, strengthening um, self-confidence. And it does, I've written on here, it feels like a bucket of spring rain's been thrown over you, just like, <gasps> ooh, <sighs> you know, takes your breath away and that huge gasp lets out the kapha energy. So again, spiritually purification cleansing moving on protecting just lovely so i'm just looking here oh yeah okay so i was thinking what chakra because that wasn't immediately obvious to me when i was talking but third eye so yeah that makes sense to me clear thought none of the emotional aspect it's just completely picking up what's going on outside so that is the emotional mental and spiritual aspects of juniper so i'm going to show you that on the slide so you can write it down and then when we come back we'll show you the cards being used in a spread so you can see these in context a bit better and wonder what what's she holding that card for you'll be able to see it better i don't think i don't think juniper comes up in the spread though but we help you to be able to see. And when we come back then, I will talk to you a little bit about the safety of juniper essential oil. So I'll see you in a minute.
I'm going to run through a quick layout for you to show you the different cards. Now, one of the things that we're not going to tell you in this video, in these videos, is the poem that goes with the cards. But for this layout, we will read them to you just so that you get a chance to sort of feel how the different poems look. So I thought I'd show you the cards, as you can see. Lovely little box. I'll show you the other side. Boring stuff, except for oh, cool stuff where I read. <laughs> okay, so if we open it up, we can see that the cards just have one logo on. And that is because these originally were Gagle's cards. He's been selling these for a long time in Hungary. In Hungary. Uh, mostly they've been bought by kinesiologists, interestingly enough. They've been doing the energy work with them. They haven't got any... Um, aromatherapy background but they've been able to tap into the energetics of the oils to be able to move emotional blockages so let's show you so these come out nice and easy because we've got beautiful little ribbons and uh, let's get rid of that so if i said to the cards what energy do i need what oils will help me do the best job with these videos let's have a now, my friend Belinda used these the other day and she does have a habit of shuffling them the wrong way. So, we we'll have to hope that they're all the way right up. I'm not doing a good job of keeping them that way. So, let's have a look. What do I need to do a great job? So, I think, it's up to you how you do it, but I think, cut it, cut it three ways, cut it back. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, first three cards off the top. Cedarwood, Virginian. I'll tell you why I'm laughing at that in a minute. Art Rose and Lavender. That's a beautiful blend, isn't it? reason why I was laughing about Cedarwood, Virginian is uh, when Gare Claire and I came to do the um, notes of all the different cards, we both went, huh. Oh, We've done these cards for Cedarwood, Virginia, and I don't really know how to explain them differently. And because I was doing lots of editing work, I went, oh, just leave it. So yesterday I did a meditation with Cedarwood, Virginia, and got the most beautiful, beautiful uh, work out of it. So you must uh, tap into that uh, tomorrow, have a listen to that video and uh, see it was really different stuff that came out. So let's have a look. So if we go to the book, we can see... That there's a brown streak on cedarwood and that tells us it's the woods so we find the woods uh, 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 slowly but surely we find the woods at the back okay so i'm going to use the other cards just to cover up the other pages because you know what sooner or later you're gonna have to pay me for something <laughs> so Cedarwood, Virginian. Actually, I'll show you this, but I'll read it to you because I'm hoping that it doesn't turn back to front on you, but it may well do. So Cedarwood, Virginian says, hold strong. Don't be swayed by the winds of change around you. Stand tall. Resist the temptation to listen as the naysayers surround you. Keep focused on the job you have in hand. Remain strategic. Don't veer from tactics you've planned. Listen intently to information on the breeze. Remain determined. Your courage is what makes me pleased. Hold strong. Don't be swayed by the winds of change around you. Stand tall. Resist the temptation to listen as the naysayers surround you. Keep focused on the job you have in hand. Remain strategic. Don't veer from tactics you've planned. Listen intently to information on the breeze. Remain determined, your courage is what makes me pleased. And I'd forgotten, I stopped halfway through because I'd forgotten this is the only one that went like around. It kept repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. And that taps in beautifully to the determination, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm keeping on reminding you. I'm keeping on reminding you. I'm keeping on reminding you. So, and actually, definitely watch the uh, video on Cedarwood, Virginia, because you'll see just how spooky that is when you... Uh, see the meditation work I did. Now, you'll also see on here at the bottom of the page, there's the energetics. Now, we're not going to talk about these energetics at all in the video. You might want to go and buy our knowledge base. Now, the knowledge base is um, completely based on this 
and it uh, is a set of lessons on each of the aspect. So middle to base, you're going to hear about that today when Gergely does his blending. So that's there. We all, it also vibrates on the throat chakra. So what does that mean? Within the knowledge base, there is a complete set of information about the different chakras. We do uh, as a lecture on each different chakra, how it affects on the emotional body, how it affects the physical body, how it affects the mental and spiritual bodies and how that's working. So when we're looking at the knowledge base, this information here describes how the uh, energies move through the system. What energy shift has taken place that we are getting these different physical uh, problems and uh, mental issues? So we can see that Cedarwood Virginian um, operates on the water element and the earth element. Um, and again, in the knowledge base, there's a complete section about we talk about the um about half an hour about the water element then again about half an hour for the earth element uh, metal fire um and <laughs> whatever the other one is going out of my head um and then here we can see sagittarius now so that tells us that um what planetary rulership it comes under this is medical astrology and this is actually how i see um the different energetics playing out some people see it through the um, ayurvedic some people see it through chinese medicine this is always the lens i see it through and usually we'll talk about how it's ruled by the moon or the sun or saturn and the different trends that we see out and when we look at an archetype like that it's like um, jade shoots always says it's like a metaphor and that's a great analogy of how you can see the thread playing out right across the medicine. And so you can see that Cedarwood Virginian is Sagittarius. So in the knowledge base, we talk about the different signs and planets and also the different houses. Um, if I remember right, um, Angelica, for example, falls under the uh, Pisces Aries cusp. So that's really quite a difficult one to understand. There's a whole lesson about the Pisces Aries cusp. Um, and then... Again, Chinese medicine, it nourishes yin. What does that mean? What does it mean? It calms shen. Shen is an interesting phenomenon all in its own right. It's the consciousness, um, our mental faculties, our imagination, our emotions. Um, God with a small g, God with a big g. All of those aspects is a complete lesson about Shen and how the essential oils can affect it and change that to move the energy. Um, and then we can see increases uh, Pitta, reduces Vata, balances Kapha. So it's interesting, actually, I do know. At the moment, all of my my oils tend to come out with earth energy. Um, that was, it's quite interesting hearing me do the Earth Energy Lecture because it's entirely about the challenges I am facing at the moment. But um, if you are somebody who sells essential oils and uh, you're looking for a way in all of the time, that right, you're talking to the person at the school gate, for example, and uh, you can see you know, she seems a healthy girl, to be honest. She's uh, loving a kid. She seems happy. Imagine somebody who's got a really sing-song voice all, uh, all the time. Um, oh, my darling, how did you get on today? Was it lovely? I know. And then child walks off. How are you to everybody? If that sing-song voice never quite relents, then you can imagine that there's an earth energy imbalance. So um, <laughs> any oils that fall under earth energy? are good ones to sell so yeah if you are interested in learning more about that ways in just kind of being able to see talking to somebody what might be clues of what's going on of that energetic shift then head over the knowledge base to have a look at that so what was our next card it was rose wasn't it <laughs> queen of roses as you know i do love my roses let's have a look so the flowers i think are at the front of the book if i remember rightly beautiful pink or oh, both flight flowers aren't they so rose 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 i 
damask rose. I was thinking we'd miss rose out, but it's not under Durford rose. It's under, sorry, it's not rough for rose. It's Durford damask rose. I remember read, uh, writing this one, actually. This is quite sad. Um, so it says, standing by your graveside or sobbing into your pillow. I know your pain. On the days when you feel lonely, worried or sad, I know your pain. Through the nights where sleep seems far away and you feel like you might break. Amidst the anger, the confusion and desolation, I feel your pain. For I was there, remember? When you smelled the roses of their love as your fingertips stroked my petals and tried to avoid the prick of thorn. I felt your hopes, your fears, your joy of deep connection. I ensnared it in my scent to help conjure that affection. In my fragrance, remember hope. Let my aroma you complete. May scent of celebration heal you, calm you and help you sleep. For through me you are never alone, always loved and open to give and receive more. Smell me, open up and feel safe to feel love once more. Hmm. Now I anticipate that these will be different for everybody, but that's entirely my dad talking to me. I feel quite choked up reading that actually. When he died, he um, gave me a rose bush. My cousin uh, works for a rose bush company, David Austin Roses. I'm sure you've heard of them. He's quite a senior manager there. And dad arranged for uh, a rose called Noble Anthony to be given to me and my uh, sisters at uh, the funeral. So I go and sit and talk to the rose bush. That's a great reminder that my dad's with me today. So that actually, dad, that really helps. Thank you. Uh, so let's have a look at the energetics. We can see middle heart chakra, obviously. Water. Now, again, as I say, in the knowledge base, there is a much bigger lecture on water. But the, the energy of water is how it can flow around any obstacle and find a way to fill the space. So that's that's great. That's lovely. And Venus. Venus is obviously the, the planet of love, but there's lots more to do with beauty and and money actually it's an interesting uh, lecture on venus i like talking about venus um balance is vata pitta and kapha if you don't know vata is very drying pitta is hot and fiery and moist and kapha is sluggish so it brings it all into alignment but in the knowledge base as i say different uh lectures on each of those so it nourishes the blood <laughs> Well, I've got funny blood, actually, so that's useful to know, Dad. Thank you. Yin and essence. So yin is the feminine aspect. It's very gentle and uh, passive and receptive. And it harmonises the heart and shen. We just talked about shen. So we're going to put all these in a blend in a minute. Um, and so last but le a lot least, the cards have told me that I should go for lavender, which I guess is probably just over the page. Still in the pinks, as you can see. Oh, I remember this one too. <laughs> cover them up, cover them up. Can you see? There we go. Lavender's blue, dilly dilly, lavender's green. When you breathe me, dilly dilly, softly you dream. Anger and grief, dilly dilly, softly drift by. Worries and hurts, dilly dilly, kiss them goodbye. When you feel tense, dilly dilly, look for the bees. See how they buzz, dilly dilly, resting with ease. Learn from their hum, dilly dilly, for they all know. Learning to rest, dilly dilly, helps you to grow. Breathe in the scent, dilly dilly, lavender's light. Calm your stressed mind, honey, honey, surrender the fight. Release cares and worries, dilly dilly, I'll help you to see. Life is so good, dilly dilly, just let it be. Okay, I'm going to let them flow, not force them. This helps, this really helps, you know. Um, I've got to tell you, when I was... um helping Gare Glay do this he was sending me his notes and every time they came across it I was like oh my goodness I've got to do the cards these are really hard I didn't like my poems at all really found them difficult to do and 
really I just wanted to be writing my Melissa book which I kind of still do but I'm feeling a bit happier now I've got the cards in my hands and I can see them because they really help honestly they really really help so um and of course I might be biased because it's my words talking back to me but hearing the plants and seeing it written down it's very very helpful so um actually I've probably skipped the most valuable part of the process for speed but when you get turn out your your cards if you have got the oils I would sit and breathe the oil as you read the poem and that's very difficult to do on this camera like this but because then you will really hear you'll have that connection with the plant it will open it up to you so top to middle uh, note as I say Gagle is going to talk to us about the blending water we've just talked about how that finds ways effortly finds gaps to do things doesn't force it just gets around any obstacle heart chakra again mercury communication data information um yeah that's very mercury mercury or medicine we'll talk about that I, I, hmm. and there's a very interesting uh lecture about mercury i originally wrote the mercury ropes for the pain practitioner program um and so these are quite detailed lectures about half an hour long the um medical astrology ones because of course this is that's my passion um neutral to cool is the action yeah cooling like um the roses activates chi now again we'll talk about chi in the knowledge base but basically it's the life force and you know how we said we talked about shen well if shen doesn't have adequate chi forcing it through then it becomes disrupted and i always think about it feeling like you're treading water so the activation of chi of chi calms shen or nourishes shen or um, raises shen depending on which essential oil it is um, it aggravates vata so yes this is one of my favorite nags so the world tells you to put uh, lavender essential oil into every massage oil in, into your moisturizer into your bath so it aggravates vata people it will dry you out that is how you get dry skin aggravates vata makes you um a bit uh vapid a bit dreamy um so all of the time you like you know like the dreamers that wander around on a cloud if you're not careful too much lavender makes you that pacifies kapha so it stops you feeling sluggish stops you feeling heavy um it's not really directly indicated for um constipation but that shift of energy through kapha would release uh, not only um, constipation but congestion in the sinuses and pacifies pitta well pitta is hot so it's calming uh, it reduces um, inflammation anything that's red hot angry it'll calm it down so there we go so first I've got my smelly stick and really this is only for, because then I can stick it down my top and you won't be able to see it so you could we could use aroma pendants we could use massage oil sniffy sticks whatever this is just what works for me and that's the most important thing that it's the thing that works for you so cedarwood virginian is um a fast oil if i remember rightly so this is quite a thin distillation oh and then we'll like, mop up everything off the table <laughs> dip it up dip it up wipe it up oh so beautiful it's smoky it's beautiful and i can tell you the lecture is is about tapping into your ancestral line and given that my ancestral line is <laughs> full of wizards and witches that's very helpful lots of plant healers coming to my aid so a bit of lavender warm the bottle you'll notice i cover the thing it's not because i'm covering the labels although it's because i can't be bothered going <sighs> don't ask me which oils i use but it's more because it's very cold in this shed so um things get stiff especially myrrh goodness me when we come to do the myrrh video i have to warm, warm it up three weeks before and then beautiful beautiful rose 
Look at the colour of that. Beautiful. It's my favourite bit, you know, was it waiting for it to come out, just seeing the colour. Have I got the nerve to let it drop? I have. Go on, mix, 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 blend. <laughs> you know, whenever I try and do videos, I always want to have the image of oils mixing and it never quite, nobody ever quite videos that effectively. I think it would be beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is sheer heaven. Just, just beautiful. So yeah, if you obviously want to buy the cards, there's a link underneath that tells you where to get them from. But also if you want to use the lot knowledge base, there's a link through to that too. And uh, goodness me, when you start to smell that and you feel all the knowledge base opening up all the different shifts in the body and how they move and how they're executing through the physical body, it's really extraordinary. It's a whole new layer to plant medicine. So there we go. That is how to do the blending. Can't wait for you to watch Gaglay do talk about proper blending in a minute. Did you enjoy the spread? <laughs> I, I do feel sorry for the people that watch them every day now. They must be like, I've seen the spread. <laughs> I'd be like that now. So I want to talk to you about the safety though, because whilst it is a very easy oil to use, we need to be quite careful with it because we're messing with water. So the first thing to say is um, it's really not suitable for use in pregnancy. We, we want to keep that baby swimming in that beautiful, big, fat amniotic sac, don't we? We don't want to steal that um, water at all. So we would not use juniper in pregnancy. Is it safe for children? It is. But it's not really an energetic match to a child. I know that sounds really weird to say, but it's kind of got a grown-up feeling to it, or at least a teenage feeling to it. So whilst it would be safe to use it, it wouldn't be my choice to use it at all. I can't think of a reason, really, why you would use it. If you had, like, um, if the child had a water infection, I'd probably go Cypress or Bergamot or... You'd hope they hadn't got arthritis. I suppose if they did have arthritis, then you could use it, but it's unlikely that they would. No? So it is safe. I would only use it 1% dilution, but I genuinely can't think of a time when I would want to use it on a child. Is it safe for the dogs? Is it safe for the cats? Yes, it is. And actually, it's a tremendous oil to choose for using on cats and dogs because... It repels fleas and it refer, repels ticks and canker in the ears. You know how they get those horrible little uh, mites. I know my dog Bella, she scratches, you know, and um, they seem to sort of come out to root around at night. So she's disturbed. So when we first had her, she was like, you're not catching me. There's no way you're going to look at my ears. Clearly, nobody had ever done it before to her. So I bribed her with a biscuit. So now she knows when I get the bottle of olive oil out and I've got a tissue and my juniper oil, I use a bit of thyme as well and just put it, you know, 1% dilution, wipe out the inside of the ear. She comes and puts the next one up as if to say, I'm doing it, I like it. And now where's my biscuit, please? So juniper is a great match for dogs and cats. Um, be careful though, that you don't have an old bottle of oil. Because it's got, um, I presume it's at monoterpenes, I haven't really thought about it, but it's one of those oils that does oxidise really, really quickly. And when that happens, that can lead to skin sensitivity. So it's one of those oils that really every couple of years you need to replace your bottle of oil. Um, or don't use it on the skin, just use it in your diffuser because it's beautiful as a diffuser. You know, it's so refreshing and uh, cleans the air in the, in the house and you know it just open the windows like opening the windows so yeah if you if you get into the end of the bottle of the oil and you think well, i've still got some left well you can use that in your diffuser lovely the other thing to remember with the um with juniper 
because again we're messing with the water content of the body if somebody's got kidney issues i would step away from it because they're already trying to process the water aren't they if you do feel well actually that's what i'm trying to do liz that's fine then just use one percent dilution go much much weakened state but just bear it in mind that it will mess with the water so therefore it will make the kidneys work harder and if somebody's kidneys are not working very well just be mindful you know maximum dilution of juniper berry essential oil is three percent dilution so that's the science out of the way we've obviously aromatherapy is a science and an art so we've done the science i'm going to send you over to budapest to do the art to the artiste that is gergley hello d absolute brilliant at um botanical perfumery and blending generally and he's going to tell us now how he goes about blending juniper essential oil trees people this is Gergay and this is my blending part of video 2 for juniper or juniper berry uh, video for uh, physical uh, for metaphysical properties that is done by Liz and I'm sure you already learned a lot about juniper berry in uh, our video one for physical properties for juniper berry so let's start with the, the uh, for, let's start with the card and the keyword is purification and I'm really bewildered by all the pictures of juniper berry because I love those little berries that are deep blue uh, sometimes purplish deep blue and then you've got all these spiky little um, you know little leaves and then you have that sort of like white, um, you know, like velvety soft skin uh, of the, the berries. And so the keyword is purification. All right. And let's look at the Latin name. Once again, it's uh, called Juniperus communis, which means common juniper. Very easy. Very funny that sometimes it is actually listed uh, when we are talking aroma wise, we are talking about uh, woody oils and then it's listed juniper berry whereas it, the essential oil is actually steam distilled from the fruits of this plant now beware because juniper berry is not an it's not a cheap oil you know usually it has its price because it has uh, it uh, requires you know making the essential oil requires a lot of labor because you have to collect the berries so you have to pick the berries how do you pick the berries you can actually machine pick them and you can actually hand pick them. Well, if you hand pick them, you know the juniper has its spikes. So when you collect them, it's not that easy. Well, you know, uh, industrially, they collect juniper berries with a machine. That means when you collect it with the, when you collect the berries with the machine, then obviously you have a lot of other materials such as twigs or little branches as well. And then, in, uh, you know, you can find uh, a variation of this oil which is distilled not only from the fruits or the berries but including some of the branches and the twigs and I know for example because we work in harmony with fragrant airs and I know that Jan uh, always insisted on having two different essential oils from juniper so juniper berry which is more expensive and slightly uh, uh, slightly less expensive is the juniper berries co-distilled with the branches and the twigs. Now, um, the plant belongs to the Cupressaceae uh, family, so the Cypress family, let's say. Um, and uh, it, uh, you can, you know, the, the oils, the oil originates from many countries, including Italy, Hungary, France, and many other countries, but these are number one, two, three, or not in the, maybe not in the order, but we are very much uh, ahead of production of this oil. 
Now, um, if I'm talking about the blending, um, you know, the perfumery uh, notes, it's definitely a middle note. And uh, what would you blend it with? Well, you would definitely blend it would blend it with, well with uh, citrus oils, for example, uh, such as orange or grapefruit. Well, these are the best probably from the citrus family that I would list that they, they go well, well with. But also some of the spices such as black pepper, for example. Or also I could list clary sage, I could list some of the other woodies like atlas cedar wood or cypress or even sandalwood. Uh, but it really blends well with all the other furs, like Siberian fur or um, black spruce or list all the many furs. You know, there's like all sorts of wonderful. My, one of my specials and one of my favorites is black spruce. I find it so not just coniferous, but like fruity, some kind of like sometimes like lemony, sometimes balsamic. So which when we are coming to the a Roman description of juniper berry, um, which actually blends well with some other some other oils like some of the flowers like lavender or lavendine, um, and then my my personal all time pe personal favorite moss absolute, and also vetiver for example or patchouli. So when we come to the aroma description of juniper berry, I would definitely call it first a coniferous, fresh, woody scent. At the same time, balsamic, and then uh, with sometimes like with because it's a berry, so uh, like some kind of like fruity back tones, back back not back tones, back notes. Sorry, and also it's a warm and radiant oil. So, when you are looking at the therapeutic um, properties, number one definitely would be the musculoskeletal system. So. When you are talking about muscle aches and pains, joint pain, then I would, li I would uh, list it as an ingredient for recipes made for joint pain, uh, muscle aches, as I said, sometimes like after, after sports or some people even use it for my fibromyalgia. And um, as with all the oils, you know, come and check, out, check us out with the recipe hub because we have over 13 recipes for juniper berry. Uh, from all sorts of spheres of aromatherapy and uh, and the modes and um, uh, and the areas where we can use it, but also uh, this is an oil that is closely associated with the lymphatic system, so you could combine uh, you know juniper berry with uh, cypress or grapefruit, which are also associated with the lymphatic system, not as something that cures the lymphatic system problems, but it's a stimulant. They are all stimulants of the lymphatic system. And we talked about the lymphatic system because it doesn't move by itself like our blood because of our heart. So it moves differently. It moves with muscle contraction. It, mo it moves with... Um, um, <clears throat> Um, in any other way, but not uh, pumped by any other organ, all right? So this, all these oils, including juniper berry, is a uh, lymphatic stimulant. Some people list it for varicose veins. Um, some people list it for digestive problems. If you look at her herbalism, uh, it is actually used uh, for, um, uh, for digestive problems. And it's a diuretic, and if, again, if you look at herbalism, juniper berries uh, are used for, uh, 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 for their diuretic reason. I don't know if you use it in, in, uh, in your cuisines, uh, wherever you live around the world. In Hungary, we often use juniper berry, especially for wild uh, and you know, like in, in our uh, kitchens when we make like a wild boar stew, for example, it really go, goes well with all, uh, all sorts of um, animals that, you know, they hunt for, such as deer or, um, or boar or wild boar, for example, or wild ducks as well. So, and if you have ever tried uh, some of these food, food some of this food, then uh, you might have recognized that after eating such a food, you might have to go to um, to pee uh, a little a little more often than uh, than you would do, right? It's because of the diuretic reason, the diuretic uh, property of uh, of juniper berry. 
as a spice, but also as an essential oil, it is listed as a, as a diuretic. Hence comes the safety issues, and then we would uh, um, definitely call your caution uh, when we are talking about uh, people with uh, urinary uh, or at, especially with kidney problems. And also sometimes when people have liver problems. But it, so these are the main cautions or contraindications when we would avoid using juniper berry essential oil. As well as because it has a lot of terpenes, right? And terpenes are prone to oxidate, oxidate, oxidation, oxidization, sorry. So, uh, you know, always use, use fresh oils and avoid using um, like uh, 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 juniper berry essential oil, which is uh, more than two years old, for example. You know, avoid using it on your skin, so not for topical use. Because even if you keep um, oils such as juniper berry high in terpenes, um, they are prone to oxidization. Uh, in fact, an auto-oxidization. So it means that even if you keep the bottles in the right place at the right temperature, there's an internal um, there's an internal process that starts in the essential oil that starts oxidizing the different components. So uh, if you like this blending video and then our, our video two of Juniper Berry, then come out, come back and check us out for our next videos next month. And uh, and of course the recipe hub and uh, if you like blending just play around and until next time as always happy blending folks maestro i do love to watch those videos so we're near the end now i just wanted to recap with you which recipes we have done for you in the recipe hub if you don't know the recipe hub is a monthly subscription and uh it's full of do you know i reckon there's over 300 recipes in there now based on these cards yeah we're working through the pack gently uh, uh quickly and i reckon we're on probably either number 36 or number 40 now so out of the cards there are 56 cards in the pack and for each oil we have the these videos are at the top for you to be able to watch so you've got all the safety and stuff and then there's at least 10 uh, recipes in each oil to tell you how to use them it's also broken down not only into oil but also into bodily system so for example for this one, there'll be a lot in the genital urinary system, but obviously eucalyptus, there's lots in the respiratory system, for example. So let me just tell you which recipes we've got. So physical recipes this month, we've done an ointment for rheumatism, for arthritis and gout, to move the fluids for edema, for painful periods and bloating, um, hand cream for Raynaud's disease, um, for urinary infections, massage oil, I guess, can't remember, but I think so, um, and joint pain, and then for lymphatic edema, where it's stalled and uh, built up. So, like, um, yeah, if you've got big ankles, etc. Metaphysical ones, then. So, I've done a rejuvenating diffuser blend, I've done a space clearing recipe. So, you know, if you start to think, well, actually, this house is not feeling as positive and as sparkly and giving me back what my uh, life should have, then we've got a beautiful space clearing recipe with juniper. An aroma pendant to reduce failure to finish. And one for psychic protection. So especially, for example, if you are an empath or highly sensitive or you'll pick up on everybody else's garbage that's around you very helpful and then another one called surge of confidence so imagine this <laughs> i'm so 
say, imagine the bucket, buckets of water. I wouldn't be very feeling very confident with my hair smushed, but the, but the, <sighs> you know, right up there and and sparkling. So those are the recipes, and uh, if you have a look below, you'll be able to see the recipe hub. Look out for three different things. Take some time, please. Pay me back for all the time and energy I've put into these videos. Have a look at the Tongue of the Trees cards. Imagine doing a, a draw and kind of pulling it out and then saying, oh, I've drawn Juniper. What does that mean to me? And being able to read your poem, look at the, re the knowledge base and go, oh, I'm really understanding so much more about myself by looking at that. As I say, the um, knowledge base is a separate um purchase to the cards so if you just want the cards that's fine or you just want the knowledge base both of those are there and then if you feel right okay i'm not interested in any of that but really want to be able to blend all of these recipes that you're talking about then the recipe hub is for you so all of those are down below in the meantime i will see you next week when uh We'll be talking about another essential oil, but thank you for being with us for what is juniper essential oil good for? You get your phone, you turn it this way up, and then there's a little red subscribe button. Turn it grey by clicking it. And then there's a little bell, click that, and press all at the bottom of your phone or tablet or computer. It'll say you will receive all notifications. And then there's a little hand with a thumbs up click that it'll turn it blue and it said add into your like the videos and there will be comments and if you want to you can send a comment or, and say like hi to mum and dad like and then the link to the next video will be in the description below underneath the video so bye